thing should be so default opcode should be so that should be a 7509 is that right yep 7509 uh, and the ammo code that we want is literally what is it is it nope no it's not it's oh yeah we want to do that jump so it's uh, the one we want to use is 09 0975 um, EB sorry EB put that capital up so EB09 that's fair enough to me and the address which we can't get wrong is written here ends in two B's which is great um, yeah so uh, I'm just thinking about this making sure it's okay so autogun status autogun uh, orb code default and finally our last variable to declare is int oops int one press timer okay and this is the time we're going to use actually um, yeah, do we need one press time equals clock? I believe I may have just got myself in a little bit of trouble because I forgot to create a timer on the main one. Main interface. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to make a little change on the fly that is not according to plan. Now that doesn't matter because uh, we're too good for that now uh, because I can't get onto the thingy I mean you guys can so if you can do that timer by yourselves then that's fine if not just keep following me you'll be fine so int um, game timer uh, so this one um, updates our cheats equals clock let's hope this doesn't backfire and screws it up for me uh, I just can't believe the bloody thingy doesn't like me and so we've got all the results written down we don't need anything else uh, obviously, our one press time is to stop you spamming the button every time you press it. So, the other interface and uh, <laughs> designer generated code. That's fine, we don't care about that. Okay, guys, so I was able to fix this for some reason. I changed the debug to release. Um, as usual, incredibly stupid and annoying the way this works. But um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to add a time which I forgot to add later uh, earlier on. So um, forget about what I told you a second ago. We'll delete that in a second. So we'll look for a timer here. We kind of need this because, um, well, it's the way our program works. So we're going to need to uh, have the timer that ticks for the whole game. So where is it? Where's the timer? I can't see it. I'm blind. Uh, timer, timer, timer. There it is. So we'll click timer. Put it on thingy and we're going to need this our um, just call it uh, let me think uh, update cheats timer cheats timer well just update timer uh, timer do allow that so we know what it is um, we want to make sure we put enabled as true and we change that to 100 milliseconds is that good yeah 100 milliseconds is good it's not too uh, hard working private doesn't matter generate member true update timer I'm happy with that so let's double click that timer and here we go that's the code we want to worry about so I'm just gonna click here because I don't want to be so at this point we've cleared our variables and what we're gonna start doing is we're gonna start um, updating what happens uh, once again make sure you minus that or you're gonna constantly keep getting all these things so delete this if you wrote this with me delete it because we don't have to write a ton more code just because of a stupid time and not wanting to work. Um, so that's it. So this is our time. So every time the timer ticks, this will happen. So we're going to start our code now. So if clock, all our code happens based on um, basically the one press timer. So if clock minus one press timer is greater than 400, now what this does is if you press a key we block the user from pressing um, any key for another 400 milliseconds now the reason for that is so that if you press F1 it doesn't turn on ammo and off about 500 different times well not 500 that's too much but three or four times so you can press one it will turn it off turn it on turn it on um, turn it off turn it on really quickly and what we're saying here is we're saying you know press a button wait another 400 milliseconds which is very little for us um, and also, obviously, a much less impact on um, on the program.
on the CPU, sorry, not program. Um, so first thing we're going to do here is we're going to go if um, get a sync key state. Now if you haven't used this before, uh, I just love the fact we don't get enough feedback. But if we haven't, if you haven't used this before, get a sync key state pretty much just uh, is a hook. You grab. So if if I go with ek f1. Uh, I've I've taught you guys this in my console trainer if you were there, but if you weren't, that's fine. Uh, basically, what this does is VK stands for virtual key, and these are defined within within the, within the Windows. I think Windows not H helps define them. Um, and basically, it says if the key F1 is pressed, that we do this. It's very simple. Um, one press press timer equals clock so if they do press a key we immediately reset um, the um, one press timer okay so then we say ammo status status equals the opposite of ammo status so if equals true we turn it false and so on then we say if ammo status which means if ammo status equals true so if it was just turned on then oops then we um, we push that value into memory. So what we then do is we say ammo status uh, label. Now this is how we address things in um, CLI especially. I mean we have to do this because it points to um, text uh, equals on. Now if you're getting any errors it's probably because you've got either a different name for your status label. Um, but um, hopefully if you followed me then you should have everything the same and then we're saying write to memory now this is a custom up, um, function that we created or we're going to create at least in a second ammo address um, ammo op code uh, and 2 because 2 is the number of bytes that we're sending into there um, that seems okay to me ammo status text equals on uh, and yeah, this looks good to me. So what we're going to do is going to create that function really quick. Um, and for some reason, we don't need to use prototypes. I'm not sure why, but we just don't need to use them. So um, let's go and write the write to memory function. Actually, hang on. What we'll do is we'll write this quickly. So we'll say else, and then we'll do that. So we'll just finish this f1 function. Uh, ammo status. Um, so just copy this, same thing. So if it was on, then let's turn it off. Off. Um, and then same here, except ammo default opcode. So we reset everything to normal. So ammo address, same address, and we change things. So make sure. See, I hate when you hover and you can't even get access to, to make sure it's right, but it doesn't matter. We'll have to do without it. So um, then we're going to go for our write to memory function. So write to memory. So let's start by going void. Uh, write to memory, and we're going to say accept a D word, which is our address to write. To write, and like I said on my console trainer, this also applies to um, chart. Uh, make sure you put the asterisk in. Value to write. Value to write. Oops. Uh, these should be small because they're local variables and not global. Uh, value to right. Um, yeah, so these are done. The way I've done these me these not methods because that's C sharp. The way I've done these functions. Actually, does anyone know the difference between uh, methods and functions? I was I googled that the other day to find out what why are C plus plus functions well called functions and the same for C sharp except they're called methods. I've never understood that. So unsigned, this is the beautiful uh, unsigned beautiful part where we write to memory, okay? Long old protection. Now we do this, old protection. We do this because we've got to grab the protection that that type of, that part of memory um, so that address has got. So we're going to say virtual protect um, and then I'm going to go open brackets LP void. We can use this or we can use void. Either one will work. I um, don't know why I put these in brackets, but basically address to write. 
um, byte num, which is the number of bytes that we send in, num, and finally uh, the type of permissions we want to give the um, the address in memory, execute, read, and write. So read, write, and finally, and old protection. Now the reason why we're doing this protection, protect protect what am I doing wrong Chen. protection am I typing this right I make sure that's right make sure that's the same if it's spelled wrong apologies but I'm sure you guys can fix that so what we're doing here is we're saying you know um, get this address in memory that we just sent in and uh, store it um, make that address um, give us permission to write to that address okay so we're making it read and write uh, and then what we're saying is grab the type of protection that was previously there and store it in all protection so if it was read only before we store it in all protection and then we say mem cpy and this is mem copy this is the thing I was telling you about earlier and just like here um, let's copy that be a bit lazy I know uh, and we do that and we say uh, value to write so what are we going to write to that I to write byte num. That's the size of that value. So you could have always gone size of value to write, but um, I don't trust too much on that. And then finally, we do another virtual protect. All right. <clears throat> so I'll explain to you what this is doing in a second. Byte num old protection. So as you can see here, what we did is we said, uh, you know, um, change the protection, the type of protection here, to read write. Whether it was read write, it, whether it was write before or read only, we don't care. We want to change to write. All right. <laughs> so we change that and we store that type of previous type of protection. So if it was read only, we store it here on all protection. Now then we copy the memory. So we made it available for us to write. We copy the memory into that address. Okay. So we overwrite what it was. So if it was um, a deck maybe we change it into an ink so we change that um, and then what we do again we change that again to ver we use virtual protect again and we use old protection and we reset the type of protection on that um, address back into old protection so if it was read we change that back to read because we don't want to leave that address by itself um, you know reset so there's there's high chances the game will crash or you have some sort of unwanted uh, response from the game so just make sure you do it like I'm doing and uh, we should be pretty good so let's just pull an F6 on this hopefully that will be okay nope ammo address is usually typos all over the place ammo address where might I find that is that where is that ammo address where is that then that's not here why are you not taking me to it full ammo address in the cloud identifier what are you talking about ammo address what's wrong with that? that should have been declared at the top um... <laughs> what could... yeah there's ammo address what's wrong with that? I'm guessing it's just a simple type or just if you go... The, oh, I can't believe I made that new mistake and then you copy and paste it double new action virtual protect function does not take three arguments why not um... so lp void address to write byte num that seems fine to me byte num um, which virtual protector is it? Is it this one? So what did I miss? Oh, oh sorry, this is null because we don't want it the type of protection to be stored anywhere so make sure you put null there. So I left some spaces here just to make it easy for you guys to read. Um, yeah, that seems good to me. So that is pretty much our write to memory function. It's very simple and uh, very good. The beauty of this, unlike the console train, is things don't need to be spammed every x seconds, or milliseconds, should I say? So it's very, very um, nice to your CPU and memory. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to um, get ready to accept our uh, F2 and so on. So we're going to do a copy and paste here and now I've got to, I'm going to try and be as careful as possible to not make stupid mistakes as usual. Okay guys, so uh, I had a fair, fair bit of a problem there. My thingy was crashing again, even in release mode. Now what I figured out, I think that was the problem anyway. Uh, I'll find out whilst doing this, but um, the problem